today we got a pair of Iron Rangers. We're gonna be gutting them completely, adding a new storm welt uh, once we take off the soles. These are my personal boots. Uh, actually, just got a delivery in from Brian, the boot maker, and we're gonna be using some of his Royal Club soles. Really nice guy, really professional. If you get the chance, check out his website. Um, his boots that he makes are great quality, look amazing. We'll start by taking the heel block out here. So that's the heel block removed. I'm going to go ahead and peel up the back here. I found that this is just a great way to start when removing the sew on these. It really allows you to get that head start with the least damage to the boot, but it doesn't matter because we're replacing it all anyways. seat off the heel and then just removing the sole and we'll go ahead and take the welt off. So we'll go ahead and take the stitching on here. So we've got the, the welt on this boot, you can kind of see the storm welt, that's the look I'm going for. Um, now we're going to do our filler, like we talked about, we're going to go to leather. Um, this hide here is actually SB foot tannery, so this is um, the tannery that Red Wing uses. going to use it for the filler, see how we like that. Uh, got a heel seat made here, like we talked about, uh, wanted to go to leather, uh, they use some kind of like particle cardboard almost on that heel seat when it comes out of the factory. Uh, we'll use these a couple times. These are cutout inserts. Make sure that everything fits right. Um, you can kind of see right there. We'll get these pieces cut out. I'll probably also use these for the, the roll club sole when I go ahead and stitch the leather sole onto the rubber. Um, you know, taking a page out of Brian's book and you know, honoring his work more than anything. don't have to be perfect this just really saves you from tedious and time consuming of having to go back and cut it up you can go ahead of here and start gluing uh, the shank in crimping the heel seat just going to tag down any extra strands from the weld get ready for the leather Pillar as well.
back after a little bit and give that another good press. this prepare it for some tax in there. So what I'm doing now is preparing the sole for uh, my hand stitching, similar to what Brian does, but with a little, little different flair. Obviously, it's a huge page out of his book with his own soles and design. But we'll see what happens. Didn't think this craft tool would hold up to this, but because it's on the cheaper side. It's definitely doing the trick. Probably didn't have to go that far back. But... And that front part's a little off because one of the other brands of punches broke.
threads, Sorel findings, and notions. I've done a lot of business with her. She's uh, really helpful. Uh, good products, fast shipping. And this orange is going to make the sole really pop. So, really excited about it. Turned out good, luckily. So, now we will clean that up. Starting to do finishing touches on these guys. Just gonna clean up that welt a little bit. I don't know if you guys can see this or not. Hey guys, uh, final review on on the Iron Rangers uh, after the recrafting. Uh, you can kind of see. Uh, sat there and used a q-tip uh, to do some orange coloring to go with the orange stitching uh, copper rivets painted over the yellow that was there with an orange paint um, just for pure cosmetics on that bottom part um, at any rate after going through uh, the guts so to speak of Iron Ranger really well well made boot um, you can kind of see I put the storm welt on there. I'm up in Minnesota, so uh, you know, I, I've my experience the storm welt really helps with that splashing um, and uh, everything else that goes with it. Uh, I used a rawhide lace, I believe. You know, this is going to be oil tan. Um, I, I like the look, um, kind of adds to the character of the boot. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to do one last uh, video. You can get a good look, you know, see what you can kind of expect from the Roll Club Souls. Again, if some chance Brian watches this, thanks again for the Souls. Huge fan of yours. Um, about a month. I'm going to be wearing these every day for a month to do a review on the boot itself, but also on the, the quality of the Roll Club Soul and Heel combination give you guys an update uh, stay tuned for that um, also I'm gonna be picking up some uh, Red Wing products just to review them I have my own in store here I carry probably you know 40 different creams just as many waterproofers but uh, we'll start with the Red Wing review and go from there because I know there's a lot of questions about the quality and what to use also gonna play around with different things um, the biggest reason I like the copper uh, red, red Wing Iron Ranger is because the two-tone look, it adds to the rustic of uh, appeal of the boot. And obviously when you use any kind of waterproof or a lot of the oil, the neat soot, um, the mink oil, it changes the coloration and gives you that flat color across the board. Um, it's inevitable, but, you know, putting it off as long as possible. So thanks for the, the watch. Check out the page on Facebook, our website. Uh, we do.